America must not be discouraged, for she has known racial segregation that remained like African apartheid, beaten and denied opportunity. Then they had to do something by themselves. They boycotted the cries for freedom heard over the nations and around the world. As most believed, the South would never change. But ordinary people took their risk, challenging systems for democracy. Young Americans died in Vietnam, arriving home paralyzed from bombings, killing commonplace people overseas, but then people began to protest war. Then soldiers came back and denounced the war. The past lessons are one must not despair. For those who are right and persist will change. As governments try to deceive people with the newspapers and television. But the truth over trumps a hundred lies. America knows the practical things, like getting married and having children, abounding with a great deal of money, while other humans define your success by wealth, not speaking against moral wrongs. My hope is that all have an upright life while devoting life to making better, by demanding an end to hopeless war, then wiping out the national boundaries that separate from other human beings. Devotion to the flag has caused murder with racism and religious hatred, indoctrinated from the childhoods brought up to believe in its racism and expanding it into other lands. I know that Indians were massacred, Mexico and Cuba were invaded, bringing liberty to the Philippines, an immense number of people were killed without democracy or liberty. Vietnam left without democracy, Panama still has a bulky drug trade, Afghanistan still has terrorism. The aims were like all other empires. Profit for corporation revenue. The war solved no fundamental problem as it poisons the minds of the soldiers, leading them to torture for the nation, where children are the greatest casualties through the warring ways of solving problems. America still has hope for success if its citizens will not obey rules, when those rules are unjust, even racist. Then break down American barriers that separate from the rest of the world. America must not be discouraged, for there is time to buy the nation back, lifting generations off its cold ground, as America will stand on its toes, ready for hope to leap into good lives.